We're going to be making chocolate waffle cones today, and it's a really simple recipe. Let's start first with a small bowl, small to medium bowl, with one cup of sifted all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and two tablespoons of cocoa. Now what you want to do is you want to mix that together, all the dry ingredients, and you want to just set that aside for the moment. You're going to need a medium large bowl for the next step, which we're going to take three large eggs and put them into our bowl and three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar into our bowl. And we're going to start to blend them on medium so they turn a real nice yellow color. I'm going to raise my speed a little bit because you want the eggs just to become kind of frothy and light. Then I'm going to put in two tablespoons of vanilla. And now I'm going to raise my speed because I want this mixture to become well blended and a bit frothy. Next, I'm going to put in a half a cup of unsalted butter. If you don't have butter, you can use margarine but make sure after you melt it, it's completely cool before you put it in your mixture. And just start beating that on medium. Again, raise your speed up a little bit and make sure that everything's well blended. Now you're gonna start combining your dry ingredients into your wet. And we're going to start the uh, mixer off a bit slow so that I don't get showered with flour. A little at a time, start mixing, raise your speed to medium until you get all the dry ingredients into your wet ingredients. I've raised my mixer a step higher to start to blend the batter. Make sure to clean the sides of your bowl well and mix it on high speed for about a minute or a minute and a half or until you know that the batter is completely mixed well. Once you've done that, make sure you do the sides of your bowl, blend everything. And I went ahead and I heated my waffle cone maker. I lightly sprayed it with an oil spray so that my waffles won't, uh, cones won't stick. I'm going to need a small towel or washcloth, something to lift my waffle cone out, out of the machine so it won't scratch it. I'm using plastic and actually the shape of the cone is going to come from this little device here. So what you want to do to make small cones, you're using a heaping teaspoon. If you want to make medium, you're doing about a tablespoon. And you want jumbo size, you're doing anywhere from one and a half to two tablespoons of batter. Put your batter in the center. I put a tablespoon in, so this should come out to be about a medium of cone. Now your waffle cone maker is probably going to take 30 to 45 seconds, depending how large you make them. If you make them small, they're going to bake a lot faster, of course. The large ones could take a minute to a minute and a half into your maker. You're going to need some type of a tall glass to put your cones in after they take their shape so that they don't uh, unravel. 
and we're just going to take a peek and see if they're cooked or not, and it isn't. So we'll wait a few more seconds to check. It's still very light, so we're going to wait till it's more of a medium brown. When they come out, they're going to be extremely hot, so you're going to need a towel. Otherwise, you will burn your fingers. Now, if you want a little bit darker cone, leave it in the maker a little bit longer. If you want to make vanilla cones, just leave out the cocoa powder, and you'll have vanilla cones instead of chocolate. Okay, it's ready to come out, and it is hot. Lay it on your towel, and then begin to roll the waffle onto this little cone-shaped plastic. You want to pinch the ends so that your ice cream will not drip out of the bottom. And you're going to have to wait several seconds to even up into a minute to wait till this waffle cone is cool enough that you can pull the cone out and that it will be uh, held together on its own and be firm and cool and dry. I went ahead and made some cones ahead of time to show you. I made the actual regular size cones that many of us see when we buy them in the store. So those are the more of the average size. I went ahead and made a medium size waffle cone and then went ahead and did the jumbo, the very large waffle cones. Now you can also shape them to a bowl in case you want to make a waffle bowl and put ice cream or whatever desserts inside of it. These really are fun to make, they're quick to make. And they're very inexpensive. And there you go. We have a cooled chocolate waffle cone. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe to my channel.